Good to have you along on WKYT. When you think of homemade salsa, tomatoes, probably, yeah, that's probably the first thing that comes to mind, right? Have you ever considered using fresh berries? Elizabeth Creed, Woodford County Extension agent, along with Extension intern Sydney Bishop, are here with a great summer recipe. Welcome. And boy, it does. It's spring yeah, summer. It's wonderful. In. You can smell the fresh you know, strawberries coming off this when you table. You talked about making salsa. I just never imagined it would be like that A in fruit. fruit? Salsa. Yeah. Yes. Well, this is one of our Kentucky Proud Plated Up recipes, uh, which is a partnership through the Extension Service and the University of Kentucky uh, Nutrition Students, where they make these recipes easy to make, uh, healthy to make, and also with Kentucky produce all throughout the season. And, and the good news is the strawberries are in. They are in right now. This is prime time to get strawberries. Uh, we went and got these from a local orchard yesterday, and they had strawberries all over. And you walked in and could smell that strawberries. <laughs> Sydney, if you had a chance to taste it, is it oh yes, it's so, a winner. Yeah, yesterday we put this together. There's blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, raspberries, and then apples. So there's every kind of berry in there, and it tastes amazing. And so healthy. I mean, so that's, that's much goodness yeah, there. Right. It is so healthy. And this is a great recipe to have on your pancakes in the morning mm -hmm. or your waffles. You can also add it to your yogurt, maybe to a smoothie, add it for a topping, um, or you can use it with some cinnamon tortilla chips. When you're dealing with berries, do you have to, you know, make it and use it very quickly? You do need, especially with ripe berries that you're buying at the farmer's market or even growing in your backyard, mm -hmm. you do need to use those up within about a week. Mm -hmm. You want to uh, make sure that when you buy the berries that there's not any that are smushed or the bottom of the carton isn't wet because mm -hmm. that is a significant kit of ripe berries mm -hmm. yes. and they might be moldy under there as well but you want to make sure to get those home uh, wash those berries and keep them in your refrigerator not that they would ever last a week they anyway. probably wouldn't well this uh, is no, last no. I'm going to get in on it <laughs> but I want to ask you a question what what else is uh, you know good and, and and ripe and available right now at the farmers market well right now we um, also have other some other <laughs> berries that are in season <laughs> All right. let us know how it tastes um, we also have asparagus and greens Great. that are in season lettuce and um, uh, lots of the uh, kales and, and uh, some of the uh, uh, other fruits yeah. will be coming in season. You know, of course, tomatoes, like you all mentioned with the salsa, will be coming in uh, soon in a couple months. So. This is awesome, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I had no doubt. I knew it was awesome yeah. without you even trying yeah. it. Yeah. Well, where do you get the great recipes? Well, these recipes can be found at your local extension service. There's an extension service in every county. Um, and if you're also interested in finding your local farmer's market, you can also contact your local extension service um, or check out the Kentucky uh, Department of Agriculture's website. There are, there's at least one farmer's market in over 100 counties in our wow. state. So they are available and ready for all of us to go utilize. Are you having a good time at the extension service? Oh yes, I'm learning so much day by day. You want to do that for a career? Oh, I would love it if I had the opportunity, oh, okay. for sure. Well, thanks for coming in. We appreciate <laughs> Thank it. Thank you all so appreciate much. It. And keep it here now on WKYT. We'll be right back.